Hello everyone, it's me, Nobody Wants Free Fall, or Indie D200, and welcome back to another episode on how to make a FNAF style game on Scratch. Now, before I say, no I have not uh, stopped this. I almost did at one point, but I haven't, so I'm going to continue it. I've just been working really hard on a Mixu time. So, yeah. Now, to reply to the person that needed help with the door code, I wasn't really sure what I was doing wrong, so basically, I'm going to read out the code. So, when flag is clicked hide, when I receive office, switch costume to costume 1, show, when I receive cameras, hide, when I receive closed cameras, show, when I receive door light, switch costume to costume 2, when I receive door light off, switch costume to costume 1. And then, with the door closed, I'd say look at this, look at these pieces of code very carefully. When flag is clicked hide, when I receive office, hide, when I receive door closed, switch costume to costume 1, so switch costume to costume one and show, repeat five, next costume, play sound, clang, or whatever your sound is. We now receive door open, switch costume to costume five, and then the wait 0 0.01 seconds. Uh, so just look at this, and then hide, and then clang. We now receive cameras, hide. We now receive close cameras, show. Uh, and then you get the if else button. So if close door equals one, then show, else hide. Uh, when fly is clicked hide, when I receive office show, when I receive cameras hide, when I receive closed cameras show, when the spike click broadcast door close, when I receive door open, go to front layer, show. When fly is clicked hide, set closed door to zero, when I receive office, if closed door equals zero, then hide, else show, if closed door equals one, then show, else hide. When I receive cameras hide, when I receive closed cameras, if, door clo if closed door equals zero, then hide, it, then hide, else show. If closed door equals one, then show else hide when i receive door close go to front layer show set close door to one when this sprite clicks set close door to zero broadcast door open when flag is clicked hide when i receive office show when i receive cameras hide when i receive close cameras show when this sprite clicks start sound light switch sound broadcast door light when flag is clicked hide set door light to zero when i receive cameras hide when I receive office, if door light equals zero, hide, else, show. If door light equals one, then show, else, hide. When I receive door light, go to front layer, show, set door light to one. When this right click, start sound light switch sound, broadcast door light off, hide, set door light to zero. When I receive closed cameras, if door light equals zero, then hide, else, show. If door light equals one, then show, else, hide. When this right click, start sound light switch sound, broadcast door light off, hide, set door light to zero. Whew, okay, so I will put a timestamp there in the description. So, okay, so people said that they need the code for this flippy camera app thing, that thing. So, here is the code. It's a lot of talking in this episode. So, when flag is clicked, hide. When I receive monitor, switch costume to the first costume, basically. Show, go to front layer. Repeat eight, next costume. Start sound recording one. Broadcast cameras, hide. When I receive monitor 2, switch costume to basically the last costume, show, start sound recording 1, repeat 8, next costume, hide. Okay, sorry, I got that bit wrong, so basically, the way it should look is that it flips up, and then it goes back down. So you'll continue from th this costume here, where it's all the way up, and then back down kind of thing, if that makes sense. So basically, you should get the result of this. So people that asked this, I'm sorry if it didn't work because I'm useless at everything. So uh, yeah, you can unsubscribe <laughs> if it didn't work because uh, I'm useless and whatever and stuff. Now I'm thinking we should add some detail to this hallway because it, it looks a little bland if I'm going to say so myself. So basically you can put whatever you want here. If you want to add some story to your to this camera, then happily do so because it might work. The story might make sense. So, so I'm going to add some detail here, and it's going to be a newspaper article about what had happened to this restaurant. So when you got your text, you're going to go here, and then you're going to turn it around a bit, and you're going to you're going to shrink it so it's going to so it fits on the page. We'll get it nice and big if you want. And what you could do is an illustration if you feel like it. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an illustration. So I'm gonna draw Eddie. You can draw whatever character you want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna draw Eddie. 
Now, if you don't know how to do a mouth that looks like that and then it has a dip, then I'll show you. So basically, you get your mouth to the kind of size you want it to be. And then what you do, you go to this button and you do that. Now, because mine is a little too small, I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to do it again. You can also do that as well if you feel like it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what it would look like. Now, to get it onto the um, other costumes here, because it just disappears, what we're going to do, we're going to move all this out of the way. Um, we're going to go copy, and then what we're going to do, we're going to press the back button. You're going to press copy on that before that. So I'll show you again. So you'll do, all, you get that out of the way. You'll do this. You'll press copy, and then you'll get out of it, and then you'll press the back button until it goes back to that. And then you'll just keep pasting because yeah, it'll just appear in the same place all the time. So yeah, just pasting and pasting. You could add a little detail there if you want, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just and boom, there it is. So there's his red eye on the final one. It's very subtle, so it's quite hard to notice it. So yeah. Now what you can do is name the rooms so we'll just call this area stage so it'll be called stage so now that it's there we go put it here or something yeah we'll put it like here and then we'll make sure the font is i don't know we'll go with that stage make it big and then boom. Okay, then we'll copy and paste that onto here. But this time we're going to call it hallway. And now we'll make the font white. I'll tell you what, we'll make the font white for all of them actually. So that's what I'll do. I'll make the font white. Uh, yeah, let's make the font white. So white, and that's better. So then what we're going to do, we're going to copy and paste it onto the ones we have. So copy and paste, paste and paste. And then we're going to do that for the other one we have. So copy and paste, paste. Aha! Now, as you can see, uh, Eddie's in the way of the camera. So maybe we could change it up a bit or we could just not have it there instead and it could be like glitched a little i don't know it's up to you or we can just move it over here there we go <laughs> oh, why <laughs> ah, i'll get it i'll get rid of it for this one and then yeah you keep doing that now if the letters don't look right then you can easily just change them to the kind of font you want it to be. Now I don't think this is going to work for me, but I think it would work for you guys. So so you can do that if you want to. But I might do it in another time in a different kind of way because it's not working for me at the moment. So yeah, you can give the namings a try if you want, but I don't know, I can't do it for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video if you liked the video make sure to smash the like button and because i'm still continuing this series for a bit make sure to subscribe so you know when the next one comes out which is probably in like a month or two because like i don't ever post them often um but yeah and comment down below uh, ask me any questions let me know what you think so yeah bye